that's all right. What do you think? Go to the bridge? Yeah. Wherever y'all want to go, it's up to y'all. Right it's now, just, just to yeah, just get a feeling out process right at the moment. Just uh, yeah. make sure everything does what it's supposed to for right now. Let's see. Of course, like I said, the fuel. Yep, we don't say that. anything. You hit that one. There's your engine oil. Okay. Uh, that's it's reading some fuel in the, in the thing, but of course we haven't set it up, so it's not going to be very accurate. Okay. But like I said, when you go through the steps and fill it up and set your points, it'll really make it much more accurate, as okay. well as use GPS to give you your range and all that. Alrighty. Once it goes through there. Engine tip 136. He wants the race. Scoot, Robert. Yeah. I know. <laughs> More so, it's going to come out of the water. Let people know before you go to oh, jump yeah. on plane, because it's going to it'll <laughs> throw people in the deck if you ain't careful. <laughs> so how's your pressure gauge working? Look good. What's it's just vacuum. Uh, okay. one less than one inch of mercury. As long as it stays less than four, we're good to go. But there shouldn't be any, you know, any restriction from there to here. But you don't don't know until going when it really needs demanded fuel. And yeah. of course, got the clear line. See if any bubbles are coming out, which could could show a sign of excess vacuum or uh, air leak somewhere in the fuel line. Did you replace the whole line? To no, the no, it was just no yeah. There's yeah, that that was the problem. There's no access to it, so we just ran what line? I have to cut this whole sill and pull this deck lid up mm. to the top of it. Mm -hmm. I just need to cut this out, put a new fuel tank in it. Well, that's, you know, probably, uh, that Sounds good for sure. Yeah? Right yeah. I, I think you're right. She'll get quieter. Once she, like, breaks in a little bit. Yeah, I wish they would have went with the, the new style key switch instead of that style lanyard. Because if you get thrown out of the boat, someone has to hold that button down and operate the boat at the yeah, same I time. Go. I'm just going to spare one and stick it somewhere. Yeah, because the, the, the new style is it snatches the key into the off position. Then you can just crank it and anybody be yeah, able, able to operate it. Exactly. And if they would have done that, they would have been able to use the push button start. And uh, it been, it, this thing should have a push button start, you know, as, as new as it is, it should. Everything looks good. Can I come up or? I guess so. We get a little short run. If you want to point more to the left, because there's a shoal that runs around off to this right side. Oh, I see the channel right here. There you go. Off the towards that green, right? Yeah. Ready, Jeremiah?
the, the high trim. I saw it going down. I looked, and your thumb was nowhere near the trim. Done by itself? Yeah. And there's different uh, programming that we can set up in it yeah, to optimize that. for the hull. Uh, 55 miles an hour. get the uh, the fuel gate the fuel tank set up it'll give you it'll adjust for all your, your range and everything get a picture of it back on plane I forgot to do that all over the the gauge
uh, the eye trim setting. It just comes down by itself? Yep. Yep. Does it go up by itself? Yep. Yeah, you can set it. You, can, you, can, you can adjust different settings, like there's bass boat settings, big hole settings like this, pontoon settings. play with that setting and if you don't think it's optimal there's also ones online that we could try uh, in upload to it I like the light as well as um, you, you still got you're in the minimum quickly look at it and see that it's 